Hi everybody and welcome to Penfinity. My name is Wesley Vanitou and today I want to talk about uh, the way we use a bevel in 3D modeling in general, especially in Blender of course. So in my idea of 3D modeling, speed should always come first and uh, with the work of the community we are getting there uh, between the amazing uh, speed flow of Cédric Le Pilaire, we have machine tree with the really good scale machine, we have hard ups that, that, that's chilling it. Uh, 3D modeling for concepting and hard surface in general become re really fast in Blender. But something annoys me with the, uh, with the bevel modifier because uh, it, 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 it doesn't make sense to me to tweak it in the first place. When you apply a bevel modifier on an object, you should have an automatic setup that allows you to have a perfect soft uh, soft or hard edge if you want and after that if needed uh, you can tweak it so that's what I was trying to implement but I fall short um, not because I didn't find a solution because in fact I found one but just because I cannot code so I just cannot goddamn implement it so um, I would love to to ship it to you ready to use but yeah th this is my problem and because I saw all of you uh, was so involved into the previous technique I showed I um, I said to myself I, I have to, to show you this one too and maybe it uh, it can be relevant uh, to you so let me show you the problem I have with beveling it, it, it is really simple in fact um, let me show Okay, let me put that to modeling. Okay, so what's the problem with uh, with beveling? When you use a bevel modifier, and you let me sort of smooth that crap, and you increase the the value of the segment to to have a perfect smooth edge like this, but the problem is when you increase the width you will have to increase the value of the segment to make it uh, to make it perfectly smooth and this is my problem with beveling normally you should as you increase the width the the segment should uh, adjust to uh, keep a perfect round surface all the time and this is when i found uh, I, I found a way to to do that so let me show you how so here I have some basic shape. So I will explain you what this is about for this two one after that. But let's take the cube for example. So for now I assign everything to di to drivers to to show you how it works. So um, when I found uh, to make it work, I create a, let me show you that. I create a sinusoidal function uh, allows me to go uh, to the negative with the width. And combined with the complex cosine equation uh, for the segment, I was able to, if I rotate uh, this empty to the right, to go with the smooth edge, and if I go to the left, with a hard one. So let me show you that with the matte cap. Let me put it in 3D view. Okay, so how it works exactly? Let me go really close to show you. As I'm increasing the width, look at it. I will be able to increase the number of segments automatically. And with uh, enough segments allows me to have a perfect smooth at any stage. And I can do the same and what I want to create, in fact, is a script, for example. Uh, I can select, I don't know, I can select this edge, for example, activate the script, and it switch back to object mode and uh, start to make it, uh, make the dynamic bevel uh, for me. So for that, of course, if I want a specific edge, I will have to create a specific vertex group, and uh, that's the downside, but uh, it's, it's still manageable. And uh, for example, I can do the same. You can do the same here. 
it is the same principle. And in my opinion, with that tech, with that stuff implemented, we will be able to to do stuff at the speed of light, guys. I'm I'm really convinced about that because you don't have to worry about do I have enough vertices or uh, uh, to make that work. And even after that, uh, when you uh, finish the um, uh, to increase the uh, the width, it became a final value. You can uh, uh, we can after that tweak it if you need maybe two three more I don't know and uh, recall the function to to continue where uh, we we left it and uh, yeah make the the script uh, uh, continuing to uh, to work backward or forward. So it worked uh, and. I, I want this, this uh, technique to, uh, to be applied, for example, to object. If I rotate this one, I can have run round or hard like this. For a cylinder, it, it, it really makes sense to me to, uh, to, uh, to make it work that way. For example, you can add, add a cylinder, uh, rotate it to make the, the edges round and just apply a Boolean operation. But it's just my opinion. Let me know if you find that, uh, if it makes sense to you. And uh, yeah, this is ex exactly that. And uh, this this stuff is really versatile because uh, with this uh, you can modify. Uh, this is a, an example of, uh, of a creep boolean crap I made. And if I want to change that, make it round, I can. I can make that hard too if I want to. I can even change everything here. Uh, let me show you that if I want to. Uh, for example, I want to uh, to change that edges to a hard one. It's going to be a, a, a little bit slow because my computer is not that fast. Oh, sorry. Let me rotate it. Rotation. Why? Yeah. So for example, if I want to make it hard, I can like this and it will uh, make it automatic for everything. So if I want to do it with this one, I can do it too. I can switch from like this if I want to. And as you can see, every, everything stay, stays dynamic, the, the, the Boolean operation, because everything here is editable. There is not a final mesh here. And I can do the same here if I want to. I can change the bottom and make it round if I want. Like this. So, so I really can change everything. And the thing is, uh, I want to find a way to, to for example, if I have, um, if I want to see if a round is better that, than a hard, um, the ability to switch uh, uh, the form, to keep the width value, but to switch um, between hard and uh, and soft. So this is what I was trying to to do, but fail. And yeah, uh, this this can be really versatile to 3D model. Of course, it, it um, the problem with booleans uh, in Blender, so it will become slow depending on the machine you have. Me, uh, I have a really slow one, so uh, what you see now, it's really slow to, to do. And uh, yeah, let me show you, let me show you the equation I'm talking about. So I need to switch to animation for you to see it. So yeah. This is uh, for the the width. So I, I'm not going to go in depth of, of how I found those equations because uh, honestly, a big part of it is uh, I use the I don't know what I'm doing method. <laughs> but but uh, more seriously, um, I just recall some basic uh, math function and, and do some research and with tries and error, I was able to find that. So this is what allows me to uh, to go to the to the negative this one and for the width and for the segment uh, this is this one this is the the, the cosine of equation allows me to uh, uh, increase dynamically the um, the number of uh, of segments so uh, i don't know if it's mathematically correct 
but it works. So if we have mathematician in the, in the subscriber, or if you know one, of course, feel free to, co to, write, to correct it. Maybe you can make the, the stuff work faster. I don't know. For now, it worked really fast. So uh, feel, feel, feel free to, to find a better way if you can. And yeah, this is uh, what, I would, uh, what, what I was trying to implement into a script by uh, creating a bevel modifier and uh, making the change. It will call these two equations to make that stuff dynamic. And after that, when you finish, just validate the value and recall it after that. So uh, yeah, feel free if you have any idea to make that work because guys i tried it i'm not a coder my goal is to be a concept designer so <laughs> i just can't do that for now so uh, just leave you with that stuff and uh, yeah let me know if you can if you can make it happen uh this mesh um i was trying let me explain you what it is exactly I was trying uh, to, uh, I already explained that in the Blender launch forum, but let me uh, explain it to you. Um, I was trying to create some ba basic shape uh, to create some Boolean operations. Um, but I want to create Boolean operation, but keep that mesh separated, even if visually it seems to be the, the same mesh. And the, the, the way to do that, let me explain to you how I did this. So it's, let me create a cube, duplicate one, and no, let me switch to increments. For example, I have this, okay. For example, I have this. If I use, uh, the problem with the Boolean is this, no. If I use a difference, the problem is I will have this extra geometry here. And to make that trick work, I, uh, I needed to get rid of that. And the way I found uh, uh, to make it happen, it's simply by creating a mesh and removing the bottom here. But it has to, to stay uh, on this surface and by doing a difference as you can see I will have this and what this uh, it will uh, allows me to uh, create any modification adding bevel on any modifier on this but this will not move and I will be able to add another mesh and uh, make dynamic change on this mesh without affecting this one and visually the result will be the same in the in the rendering so let me show you what i'm talking about of course if i don't explain something clearly don't hesitate to 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 ask ask me uh, what this is about so for example i have this mesh i, I want to uh, to insert it in another one but i have this mesh and as you can see is just before this one and well, let me create a plane. Let me rotate it, for example, like this. Okay, so if now I select this mesh and this mesh and I do a difference, so as you can see, I will be able to, if I create a bevel modifier, I will be able to increase the bevel modifier if I want to. And after that, I can change, let me hide this, I can change the value of the shape itself. So these two bevel are, are completely independent. So. Um, I don't have to to uh, to have uh, tons of bevel combination to make the or um, to to create a destructive bevel here. I can keep this dynamic while I'm uh, editing uh, this mesh. So it allows you to have more flexibility into the non-destructive process. So uh, you only will have a problem if uh, because of. Uh, 
on this mesh only because I I, I didn't uh, put I didn't put um, an extra edge like this. If you want to do a Boolean operation, it can uh, have another geometry inside. It will not work with this mesh, but you can create basic geometry to uh, to make that happen. So, for example, uh, you can insert a, a a cylinder with this one, and after that, Boolean the cylinder itself, and uh, it will um, the really big plus of that. So it will keep the overall piece manageable because it will not be a whole boolean stuff into one piece so your computer will stay really fast and that's uh and that's what uh what i want with this technique keep all that stuff manageable separate in different pieces but visually appear as one piece like like this you see let me put uh So yeah, so it's the same. How to make that work with script and stuff, I don't know. Uh, for now, uh, I use drivers and it is definitely not production ready. So yeah, this is the uh, uh, what I'm trying to achieve. And I hope if you have some little time to uh, look at the file you can give me some advice uh, about it on or maybe co coding something uh, if you have time i will be glad to hear about it so uh, as always if you have any question don't hesitate to uh, to leave a comment below send me an email at info.penfitting.com i will be glad to uh, to uh, to answer you and uh, by the way i'm currently working on a um, uh, course about uh, how to set up your key map to uh, 3D model at, at the speed of light. I um, I already, uh, it was last year, I made a quick video uh, about how I set up my, my keyboard shortcut, but is it is outdated right now. So I t I'm taking the time, uh, I have time now, I'm taking the time to make that course happen. And guys, trust me, when uh, when you finish with this course, you will not see your key map the same way really trust me because uh, the way i set up stuff is first to never open uh, any windows whatsoever to 3d model and really to keep your hand uh, at rest what i mean by that is uh, with my key map setup you will never have to uh, use your two hands to create to um to to access to a shortcut so i made it in a way to have the hand at the resting position to keep the, the, the modeling flow uh, uh, continue faster and combine with uh, the right add-on and, and, and the right stuff, trust me, we will be able to create stuff really, really fast and make a workflow never before seen in any 3D package. So uh, I will uh, post some screenshot of, uh, of, um, of, this, uh, of this course. Uh, I don't know if maybe I, I will make it freemium. I don't know because uh, my goal is, is really to, to provide you as much value as, as I can. So I'll let you know about that. And uh, yeah, see you soon, everybody.